Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to get a six pack, why is it important, how long does it take, why do we all love it? So strap in and listen up. First things first, we have di different muscles. It's not just the abs. We have the rectus abdominis, which is kind of the actual, I hope I've got a six pack, the actual six pack muscle that you see, this blocky muscle here. We have the transverse abdominis, which kind of sits underneath. Think planks, side planks, core, and then we have the obliques, the external and internal obliques. These kind of, I'm not gonna show you those, sit on the side here and they kind of work with spinal rotation and things like that. So it's not just a six pack, there's a whole lot more to it. That's the whole core. There's, there's more to just blocky abs. Now, everybody wants them, mostly guys, but women want them as well. If somebody has abs, they, you know, they're probably quite lean, they're probably quite disciplined. We tend to think they look quite good. A lot of people will say to me when they sign up to my coaching, you know, I just wanna be able to see my abs. So it's, it's a big, big, focus point for a lot of people, especially men. So how long does it take to see your abs? This is the golden question. Obviously, it all depends on your starting weight, okay? But for men, we're looking at around 10 to 12% to have a good solid set of abs. Women, it tends to be around 15 to 18%. So if you are a man, and unfortunately you are 30% body fat, it's gonna take you a little bit of time to get there. And it tends to be the last place to come off for the majority of people, but we'll, more on that later. So how lean do we wanna get? 10 to 12 12% body fat as a male, like I said, and that 15 to 18 for women is the sweet spot. Start to get leaner than this, okay? Think men, think 8%, 6%, think shredded. It's very, very hard to maintain and there's quite a few negatives that come with that. Sex drive goes down, appetite goes through the roof. The body really doesn't want to be there and it will fight you to come back up. Whereas you can be a healthy 10 to 12% as a male. Similar to me, I'd say I'm probably, I don't know, 12, 13% most of the time. And I'm able to stay here because I'm in a healthy weight. I do my training, I do my cardio, I eat pretty well most of the time. But I have been very, very lean before. I've been 5% body fat, picture will be up on the screen. It was horrendous. I couldn't stay there, I was starving you're fighting the urge to binge and women are the same when they come down from that 15% to that 12% and they get very very lean the body doesn't want to be there and it will it will literally fight back with you so always aim to be pretty lean try not to go into shredded territory leave that for the competitors all right now genetics genetics play a big role I'll take, use myself for example, I store a lot of fat around my legs and around my glutes and I always tend to stay quite lean through like my shoulders and through my stomach. Whereas some people, so when I lose weight, if I was to lose three or four kilos right now, it comes all off my midsection, but not off my legs. Some people, women, different men, they might lose weight and it comes off their legs, but they've always got that last bit of fat around their stomach. Everybody's different and fat distribution is different to everybody. I'm sure you know where you store body fat. If you look in the mirror and you've got quite lean legs, but you have a bit of a belly and weight around your chest, I guarantee you, if you lost a couple of kilos, your legs would get even leaner. So oftentimes, this is the last bit to go, which is why it's so rewarding, it's why everybody wants it. I'm sure you've seen the video before online with a bag of water and you have the eggs at the bottom and they pierce the bag and you see this water start to come down, 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 but the eggs stay covered. They're underwater, they're heavy and they sit at the bottom. And it's only when that water is completely empty or near enough empty that the eggs start to become visible, okay? And it's very similar with your midsection. Now, another thing that I wanted to cover today is, you know, abs are made in the kitchen. They are a muscle and they are built through training. How do we train them? You often see seven minute ab workouts, you know, 100 crunches here, 100 leg raises here. They're a muscle just like everything else and they all respond like so. Anywhere from that eight to 15 to 20 rep range where you're increasing the load over time and they will get bigger think hypertrophy. So weighted crunches, you, know, you don't need a thousand movements. You need a weighted crunch here, something like here, like a leg raise and some form of rotation, okay? And then it's always nice to have something where you're not moving, like a plank, a side plank, an ab roll out tends to be quite good. Stirring the pot on an exercise ball. These are all movements that are gonna build this muscle. But if you are not lean enough, you can have the best, most aesthetically pleasing, symmetrical 
six pack there ever was, your 30% body fat, you won't be able to see it. So they are made in the gym and they are revealed in the kitchen, but also in the gym. So you kind of need the whole package. One thing I wanted to think about today as well is we really should be prioritizing building muscle. As you go through muscle building phases, this is for women as well. The more muscle you have, the more calories you're gonna allow yourself to eat. The more calories we can eat, the easier it is to get lean. If you're somebody that has no muscle whatsoever and you decide to diet down to see your abs, you're gonna be very, very skinny with abs and it's not gonna be a great look. We wanna have shape, we wanna have muscle as well as abs for women as well. So always prioritize building muscle, go through muscle building phases and then go through fat loss phases where you're prioritizing holding your muscle. As you do this time and time again, you end up more muscle, less fat, more muscle, less fat and then you end up with a great physique. But these things take time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll keep making them.